Hey, what's up guys? My name is Mystic. Welcome to the first episode of COD World War II Gun Setups. This is the series where I go into great detail on every statistic and every gun on COD World War II. With this series, I'll be bringing in as many visuals and examples as I can to not only show you how the gun works, but to tell you how the gun works. In addition to this, towards the end of each episode, I will be sharing what I think are the best attachments and best class setups for each gun. So with all that being said, let's hop into the first video on gun setups on World War II, and we are going to be talking about the STG-44. Alright, let's get into some real life stats. Developed in Nazi Germany, the STG-44 was built in 1943, fires a 7.92 by 33 curves round at approximately 600 rounds per minute. Now surprisingly it falls under the rifle category in World War II, but surprisingly it is technically the only assault rifle in the game. In World War II, the STG-44 has a damage profile of 30, 29, 22, which means it is roughly a 4 to 5 shot kill. Now, the 4 shot range on the STG-44 is roughly 51 meters, which there is no possible line of sight on World War II that extends that, so meaning it will always be a 4 shot kill. Now the time to kill for 4 shots is 270 milliseconds, while the 5 shot kill is 360 milliseconds. The rate of fire for the STG-44 is 666 rounds per minute, which is a little exaggerated from the real life version. In the hardcore game mode, the STG-44 has a one shot kill potential up to 25 meters, which is pretty good in itself, but if you're trying to go for chrome, uh, pop advanced rifling on that, it will double your range from 25 meters to 50 meters for one shot, and trust me, you're going to definitely need that if you're playing hardcore. Moving on to Idle Sway, as you can see in the gameplay in the background, Idle Sway doesn't move that much, making the SCG-44 not the greatest, but not the best gun for Idle Sway. Uh, recoil, it starts out good in the beginning, but as you shoot the gun, it gets higher and higher. Uh, but don't worry about that, you should be killing enemies before the uh, recoil goes way too high. Uh, for hip fire, this gun is amazing at hip fire. It is extremely accurate. It's probably one of the top two guns for hip fire. The STG-44 has a mag capacity of 30 bullets with 90 in reserve. With extended mag it bumps that up to 45 bullets with 135 bullets in reserve. Has a reload time of 1.42 seconds. We have an aim down sight time of 275 milliseconds which is actually a little slower than the other rifles in the game. Sprint time is standard at 250 milliseconds, movement speed is 95%, but that is also standard for the rifles. We got a strafe speed of 40, which is slow, but it is still standard for the rifles in the game. It lacks in time to kill, but is reliable, consistent, accurate, it has good mag capacity, and it's just an overall great gun. It's personally my favorite gun in the game to use but uh, some of you guys got others. Comment in the comment section what your favorite gun in World War II is and if you want me to make a video on your favorite gun in this uh, series. I will do that for you guys. So with all the stats out of the way, let's get into my recommended attachments for the STG-44. Feel free to change my setups to your playstyle guys. So first up we have my infantry class. With this one we have the STG with quick draw, high caliber, extended mags, and grip. Secondary is a machine pistol with extended mags. Throw on a sticky nade and we have primed which basic training which gives you less flinch. I feel that is important with the STG 44 at longer ranges. It will probably help you out uh, tremendously in longer ranges. But for the S&D players out there, I didn't forget you. We have the STG-44 Airborne Division, we have Rapid Fire, Grip, Machine Pistol with Extended Mags, Sticky Nade, and the Basic Training for Dead Silence, which is inconspicuous. Uh, I hope this helped you guys. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. Our goal is 15 for this video. Comment what gun you want to see next. If you're new, subscribe. I, that would mean a lot to me, guys. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye.